There are five main types of blood products used in bleeding. Packed red blood cells, platelets, cryoprecipitate, fresh frozen plasma and fibrinogen concentrate. With packed red blood cells, one unit of whole blood is centrifuged and most of the plasma is removed at about 55% of the total blood volume. This leaves a unit with a hematocrit of about 60%. One unit of packed red blood cells will raise the hematocrit of a standard adult patient by 3%. They are used in patients with anemia or low hemoglobin count. Platelets have 60 mils per unit. An expected increase in platelet count for adults is 30 to 60,000 for each six pack of platelets you give them. Cryoprecipitate roughly has 30 to 40 mils per unit. It's used in situations where there's low fibrinogen, von Willebrand's disease, and in situations calling for a fibrin glue, such as active bleeding. FFP has a larger volume than cryoprecipitate of about 225 mils per unit. It contains all factors of the soluble coagulation system. It's therefore indicated when a patient has multiple factor deficiencies and is bleeding. Fibrinogen, which is normally synthesized in the liver, is often given at 30 to 60 milligrams per kilogram and is presented in vials of powder. It is converted by thrombin into fibrin, which then forms a clot. Let's look at some of these products more closely. If we take platelets, for example, they're stored at room temperature and cannot be frozen. They must be used within five days. Thrombocytes or platelets clump together to form a clot when endothelial damage occurs. Endothelial damage activates and by exposure to collagen. This adhesion is strengthened further by von Willebrand's factor, which is released from the endothelium and from platelets. Von Willebrand's factor forms additional links between the platelet's glycoproteins and the collagen fibrils. In addition to interacting with von Willebrand's factor and fibrin, the platelets interact with thrombin, factors 10, 5A, 7A, 9, 11 and prothrombin to complete clot formation via the coagulation cascade. As we've already said, an expected increase in platelet count for adults is between 30 and 60,000 for each six packs of platelets they're given. Let's look at cryoprecipitate now. It's between 30 and 40 mils per unit, as we've already said. It's used in states where low fibrinogen is expected, von Willebrand's disease, and in situations calling for a fibrin glue. So cryoprecipitate is not just a concentrate of FFP. A unit of cryo contains only 40 to 50% of the coagulation factors found in a unit of FFP, but those factors are more concentrated in the cryoprecipitate, i.e. there's less volume. If we look exactly at what's in cryoprecipitate, it contains fibrinogen between 150 and 250 milligrams with a half-life of 100 to 150 hours. This is converted by thrombin to make a clot. It also contains factor 8, between 80 and 150 units with a half-life of 12 hours. This interacts with factor 9 to cause a clot. It also contains von Willebrand's factor between 100 and 150 units with a half-life of 24 hours. This travels with factor 13. Factor 13 between 50 and 75 units with a half-life of 150 to 300 mil. Factor 13 is said to improve clot stability. Fresh frozen plasma has 225 mils per unit and contains all factors of the soluble coagulation system. Fibrinogen, Factor 2, 5, 7, 8 and 10. The most important factors are Factor 5 and Factor 8. It is indicated when a patient has multiple factor deficiencies and is bleeding. FFP should never be used as a plasma expander. It is used in emergency bleeding problems with warfarin. FFP has a natural INR of around 1.6, so therefore it cannot lower the INR below 1.7. Factor 5 is a protein made in your liver that helps convert prothrombin into thrombin. Thrombin then converts fibrinogen into fibrin, which in turn forms a fibrin clot. In response to injury, coagulation factor 8 is activated and separates from von Willebrand's factor. The active protein, 7A, interacts with another coagulation factor called factor 9 and this forms a clot. Lastly, fibrinogen concentrate has become extremely popular in recent years, particularly in the setting of trauma. It is synthesized in the liver. Its normal levels are between 1.5 and 4.5 grams per litre. It's an acute phase reactant and has a half-life of 4 to 7 days. Fibrinogen is found in FFP, cryo and obviously the concentrated form that we're talking about. It is converted by thrombin into fibrin and this forms a clot. The concentrate is of low volume, minimal fuss to make up, it's easily stored and no cross-match is needed. 
it's currently very expensive and actually in some cases it's unlicensed in the UK at present but it can still be used. As we've already mentioned it's often given at between 30 to 60 milligrams per kilogram and is presented in vials of powder in a box.